The firefighter is given an order to pull a specified amount of 2.5 inch attack line with a 2.5 inch nozzle using the runback method. The firefighter is also given an order by the captain to place it into a Kenyan hose loop. The firefighter will be in full protective gear including SCBA. He will repeat the order to the captain and safely exit the engine. The amount of hose and the nozzle type, in this case 200 feet of hose and a fog nozzle, will be decided by the captain. The firefighter will then tell the engineer his hose lay and proceed to the tailboard. The firefighter will step onto the tailboard and break the 2.5 inch hose from the 4 inch hose. This is called breaking the bed. After breaking the bed, the firefighter will take the 2.5 inch female coupling and step off the tailboard facing forward. The firefighter will pull 2.5 inch hose from the bed until the next coupling hits the tailboard or the ground and announce 50 feet. The firefighter will return with the female coupling and place it on the ground 10 feet from the tailboard on the side away from the fire. The firefighter will pick up the connected hose from the ground or tailboard and pull it out until the next coupling hits the ground or tailboard. The firefighter will announce 100 feet and return with the coupling, placing it next to the initial coupling on the fire side of the coupling. The firefighter will repeat this process until the desired amount of hose has been pulled from the bed. Take note that this is assuming that the fire is in front of the engine. If the fire is behind the engine, all couplings will be ran out 50 feet and left on the ground away from the tailboard. For runbacks and a reverse lay, the hose lay gets built away from the fire. Now that the firefighter has 200 feet of hose on the ground, he will break the last coupling at 200 feet. The firefighter will then retrieve a 2.5 inch nozzle from the engine and attach it to the hose. Take note that the firefighter has checked for gasket swivel and threads on the nozzle. Following this, the firefighter will place the female end back into the hose bed. The firefighter will then check with the engineer to verify who will make the connection, which in this case is the engineer. The firefighter will now prepare to deploy the hose. The firefighter will place the hose with the nozzle over one shoulder, and with the opposite arm, the firefighter will pick up the loops in the order that they pay out. The firefighter will then deploy the attack line. Here we can see the firefighter is controlling the nozzle with his left hand. In the opposite hand, he has control of the coupling. This will be the first coupling to drop as the hose pays out. Wrapped around his arm, he has the loops with the subsequent couplings, and behind him, he will drag the hose. The firefighter ensures that the hose is paying out properly and is careful not to pull the female coupling away from the engine if the connection has not been made by the engineer. The firefighter places the hose in a Kenyan hose loop configuration using the last 50 foot of hose to construct the Kenyan hose loop. The firefighter will then ensure 10 feet of hose is directly behind the nozzle the nozzle is placed underneath the hose 18 inches from the supply side coupling and extending 18 inches past cross point. The firefighter will secure the hose where it crosses with a hose strap or webbing and call for water. Calling for water will be done either with verbal and hand signals or by using radio signal. The firefighter will then sit on the hose at cross point and prepare for the line to be charged. Firefighter will then don his BA mask, click into air, and prepare to flow water. Once flowing water, the firefighter will open the nozzle and demonstrate the proper nozzle techniques. If the 2.5 inch attack line is being deployed in a wide open area such as in an alley or front of a commercial building, the drag method is applicable. If obstacles are present, the firefighter must bring the run back hose loops forward and place them between the couplings on the ground. Once the loops have been brought forward, compress the run back loops. 
Then, place the hose on the shoulder with the nozzle down and allow the hose to pay off the top of the shoulder hose load. This hose load will allow the firefighter to negotiate around obstacles. Mm -hmm.